Welcome back to another week in Linux and open source. We're going to be going through some of the latest news today. Let's get right in by talking about Microsoft and their latest release for open source called Hyperlight WASM. Last year in November, this new micro virtual machine manager was announced making pretty big claims and we now officially have a release. For those of you unaware, Hyperlight is an open source project that securely runs WebAssembly modules and other sorts of functions, which enables a sandbox execution of third-party or untrusted WebAssembly code. It's got minimal latency and support for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. So we have a diagram here of what things are going to look like and how they communicate with each other. So Hyperlight, a micro virtual machine manager, is only a virtual CPU, memory, and host-controlled code execution mechanism. The creation of it would take somewhere between one to two milliseconds. The function invocation overhead, so the amount of time that the function would take to be called is under 60 microseconds, and it's optimized for delivering protection per function invocation. And here's some of the layers that talk together, including the actual virtual machine itself. It has application code and an API, and that talks to the host, which is passed between application code Again, the API, then it reaches the hypervisor API, which talks to the hardware. So the announcement was made that Hyperlight WebAssembly is released. They call it fast, secure, and OS free. Microsoft talks about last fall, the Azure Core upstream team introduced Hyperlight, an open source Rust library you can use to execute small embedded functions using hypervisor based protection. Then we showed how to run Rust functions really, really fast followed by C to run JavaScript. In February 2025, the Cloud Native Computing Foundation voted to onboard Hyperlight into their sandbox program. So they're announcing the latest release of the Hyperlight WebAssembly, a Hyperlight virtual machine micro guest that runs WebAssembly component workloads written in many languages. But a lot of you are going to ask why I even care about this. Well, it matters to developers and DevOps people because now we can run workloads securely and extremely fast without requiring a traditional operating system environment. Imagine a virtual environment that's highly performant, portable, secure, and has sandboxing. It's an interesting development because it can help enhance security by isolating code into a VM without sacrificing performance and efficiency. There's a rapid startup process here, somewhere in the one to two millisecond range, and you can compare this to something like, well, let's say 125 to 150 milliseconds when it comes to an actual traditional virtual machine. 